Hey you, welcome to Wasted Audio. Today we're going to have a look at plug data and how you can convert your PD patches into C, C++ code. The plug data is a visual programming environment based on PD that can also run as a plugin. In this series, I'm going to assume that you already have some basic pure data experience. But this is not going to be a full pure data tutorial. If this is your first time, I can recommend some of these channels so in Plug Data, we've integrated a tool called Heavy, which is a way to convert your data patches into C++. Now, it's important to note that inside of Heavy, there's not a single line of pure data. Pure data is really used as a way to design the DSP graph, uh, which is then interpreted and converted into a C++ program. Now, there are some limitations to Heavy and the compiler, like not all the default pure data objects are supported, but the basic vanilla uh, patches and behavior are basically available. You can create very extensive programs using just this minimal set. So here you can already see that the program is quite different from typical PD. We have dark and light modes and actually full team ability. I just happen to like dark mode because I look at the screen a lot. So let's open a new patch and we'll have a look at compile mode, which will actually give you a warning uh, when you use an object that's not compatible within the heavy compiler. So from the object browser, we can here already drag different objects. So for instance, we have a scope. When we drag that onto the canvas, we get this yellow uh, trace around the object and we get the warning. The scope is not supported in compile mode. So we know that we won't be able to build our compiled patches with that. Then one thing in plug data that's really handy is when you create an object, you can just start typing and we'll get suggestions for all the objects that actually are available. So using compile mode can really help you to create your patch without running into issues with incompatible objects, which is really handy. One other thing that's included in plug data is heavy lib, which is a set of abstractions created specifically for heavy and the compiler. And you can also use in your regular vanilla patches. So in the documentation browser, oh, under documentation, we have here all of the heavy lip help files. Or if you create an object and you start with heavy hv dot, get the full list. And you can also go to the object browser and then browse all of the different uh, heavy lip objects. So we have different filters. Uh, there's an alternative exponential function, there's different uh, signal rate logic operations, a lot of very useful user utilities in here. So once you've created your patch and you know that it's compatible because the compiled mode didn't give any weird warnings, of course you have to actually compile it. So we go to the menu and then we click compile. Now the first time you need to install the toolchain, which for my system, I run Linux, it's about one and a half gigabytes. So depending on your internet connection, that can take a while. Luckily, I have a pretty good fiber connection, so it's it doesn't take too long. But of course, if you're on a more limited uh, connection, this can take a while, but uh, we don't update the compiler that often. So now we have a nice overview of the, the compile options. Default is just a C and C++ code, which if you are a programmer, you can use that code in your audio projects. Then there's the Electrosmith DAISY, which is a small microcontroller board that you can use for prototyping your own uh, little audio devices. Uh, then there is the distro plugin format audio plugins, which come in a variety of formats, uh, like LV2, VST2, uh, CLAP, and also a jack standalone, which really only like audio nerds would have any use for. But I use it a lot for testing actually, because it's a lot faster than having to start up a whole DAW. And then finally, there's a, a PD external. So you can create your whole patch, pack it up into a compiled external, and then reuse that in your regular vanilla patches, which can actually save uh, on some processing because the compiled external is a lot more efficient than your fully interpreted pure data patch. So I hope this was useful for you to get started using a plug data and the compile toolchain. If you have any questions or suggestions on what kind of projects you have in mind, then of course leave a comment below. If you want to support the channel and our efforts with the heavy compiler, 
you can buy some of our plugins that were actually created using this setup or you can become a github sponsor or a patreon member links in the description below all right see you soon and take care